Hello and welcome to QA. In this video, we will learn about how to make game art assets for Unreal Engine 4. So let's get started. So in this video, we are going to make a simple drum-like object which you have seen mostly in games like Resident Evil, Skyrim and it's an asset which you have seen in most of the games because it's a common asset. So let's have so what is this this is actually my reference object for the proportion and heights so since unreal engine 4 works in centimeter units so i'm using centimeter units as my working area and uh okay so this is a reference object for character which is having a height of 183 centimeter width of 60 centimeter and depth of 60 centimeter so let's have it as a reference so we don't actually use move this or select this by default so let's move it here and make it a reference now we are going to make a drum for that we are going to use some basic shapes so let's have a height for this let's see it from here okay not that big small with that 100 yep i think that will do good for the height and let's get started with modeling it and giving it shape so i'm going to have a high poly mesh here because if i want it to look greatly detailed when i'm going to look at closer when i'm farther we are going to make lods for it so let's first make our lod zero so let's give it a name uh drum zero this is going to be our okay it's taking drum one as first object no problem so this will be lod zero for us that is when the camera is this close to the character it will show it detailed so let's add some shape to it so it looks like a drum so let's inflate it from the center yep i think that will do good for the shape now let's add some more details i think this one will also be like that so Multiple edge loop and let's give it a shape. Okay. Let's select those. Not that. This one. Make sure that none other faces are selected and we are going to extrude it. Let's add some thickness to it we are adding it locally not that much thickness yeah this will do good and that is going to be my drum for now so let's make some let's have let's first see is uvs actually because we need it for texturing so go to edit uvs uv texture editor and see so no overlapping uvs are here but i need uh, as you can see that this upper area is going to be seen in the viewport and this area this whole mid area so we need much more details here when if you are going to sculpt anything or like that so i'm going to just select my mid portion and going to scale it but like that uniform scaling and we are going to have a layout for it so let's lay it out uh, now our uv is now complete so this area covers much more uvs much more larger uv section in the uv space so that we can have much more details over here and some details can be written over here so this is our only first uv channel that we are going to use for the light for the i think for texture 
So uh, when you are going to work with uh, Unreal Engine 4, you have three types of lighting options. First is uh, where you can use light map baking. Second is dynamic light. So for those purposes, for Unreal Engines or for any other game engines, you have to make a light map for your object. So for the light map, what we are going to do first, I'm going to create UVs, copy a UV set into a new UV set because this is a good and clean UV. So I'm going to use this as my light map. So let's have it as a light set and apply. So this is my light set, the second UV channel where I'm going to bake my lights and for the light map, uh, some of the things uh, in the layout section you have to know like you can't have overlapping faces so use non overlapping things you don't have to scale your UVs because we have uh, a very good UV here uh, the layout will be uniform in the 0 to 1 space and cell stacking will be according to the shape of object not uh, according to the bounding box of this UV section now for this cell spacing means uh, spacing between two UV island uh, I, I will use my own preference which is 1% space between two or more UV islands so have this this will be going to be custom and let's play out our UVs why I'm having a custom layout uh, custom percentage there let's see one more once more layout settings okay layout why I'm having this custom because I uh, when baking light maps you need to have one to three pixels of distance between two UV islands and for me one percentage space between these two uh, act as good value so this is going to be our asset let's make some LOD for it so I am going to make a copy of it first uh, before going to copy it yes let's have a copy of it first okay so this is going to be our first LOD so for the LODs we can have less number of polygons we are because we are going to see it from a distance so let's delete that let's delete that this one also mid one I'm not going to delete 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 so this is going to be our first LOD which if I'm closer to the object it will look like this I am farther away like this much this is going to be available in the viewport and this model will be replaced then one more LOD which is actually going to be half of the polygon of the last LOD so let's decrease that and delete so and one more I think this one can also be deleted okay this one going to be the third one when I'm going to look at this at this distance because you can now see that the, you cannot really define the differences between these three objects okay so let's come closer so this is going to be my model which uh, character will see when he is close to the object uh, and uh, when he is going to have a uh, very high resolution of gaming and uh, everything high performance he is playing so you can see it's 1260 for the polygons then we are going to have its first LOD which is exactly 360 less polygons 900 polygons and the more or less 420 polygons the last LOD you can make more LODs but I think you will need because if you go much outer they will not look they will not be available for you to look so we have these LODs for us. In the next video, I am going to tell you about uh, collisions and how they help in Unreal Engine. 
so meet you in the next video